guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Dragon. Right, now, um, yeah, so we've got our game against Austria, and we've also got the game against Slovakia coming up in a set. Before we do that, of course, if we could get 200, 300, who knows how many likes on this episode, as many as you can, 300 would be amazing, uh, guys. I I'm setting some bigger targets just because why the hell not? Um, so also, a couple of things before we get into today's episode, we're going to do a quick question of the day, um, which is, I'm not actually going to give an answer to this one, I just want to see what you guys have to say, and that is, it's Halloween today, or I certainly hope it is, if I've done this right. Um, so yeah, Halloween-based puns. Give me some Halloween players, give me some Halloween teams, see what you can come up with. I tried to come up with a few before I did this, and and frankly, I came up dry. So I really want to see if you guys have got something awesome. Uh, see if we can make a Halloween 11 in the comments. Um, I'll read it out in a couple of episodes time once I've actually had a chance to look at it. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is that I know someone mentioned in the comments, am I doing a giveaway? I am going to do a giveaway, but the difference is I'm not affiliated with SI. Um, so I haven't been given any codes to give away. Um, so I'm going to have to buy one, but I can't do that until I get paid. And so that's going to have to wait until... Uh, I'm going to do it on the first episode of my Wimbledon save, because that way I'll have had a couple of days to sort everything out, basically. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the giveaway just yet, but I'll think of something along the way. I might give away two copies if I can stretch. So there we go, guys. Um, stay tuned for that one, I suppose. So um, not much has really happened in the meantime. We've played a couple of like there's been barely anything happens a couple of days basically so we're just going to jump straight into the game against uh austria today that way things don't get too stretched because we want to make sure that we get through uh this episode and so it doesn't end up being like half an hour long frankly so i'm going to go with this system again i'm more confident in this one than i am in the other one unfortunately we do have a few players that are a bit knackered um i wish you could see ah that's what i want that's so much better right um yeah, that's fine. I might need to add a couple of more here because I want more than just roll ability. I want overall ability and I want. To, I wish it would display it in the subs too. But there we go. So um, perhaps not starting Joe Allen might be an interesting choice. Maybe start Andy King instead um, just to give us a little... Oh, he's not exactly in great shape either. Uh, we might just have to go with what we've got, frankly, guys, at this point. It might be a bit wasteful if we don't. So we're just going to go with the line that we've got. Wait, 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 wait. Keeps trying to sneak in back there. Right, let's get to this. Uh, unfortunately, we're still only competent with the system. And that's mainly due to the fact that it just doesn't... Oh my god, what's going on with my screen? Apologies, guys, if you can see that. I'm just going to turn the screen off briefly. Hopefully that isn't going to affect uh, what you can actually see. Because for some reason, I'm getting blue blur on the screen at the moment. So hopefully um, that isn't affected. And I will, I'll cut it out if it did. There we go, that's better. Right, so we'll turn the goal highlights for good. Um, right, so this is quite important. Because if Austria actually beat us today, uh, they're playing a very similar system to that which Iceland played against us. And you saw what happened in that game. So there could be something here for us. But if Austria do beat us, they technically qualify. Um, because remember, they'd be... Uh, they'd have four points and we'd have none. So we really do need to get a win or at least something from this game. Um, going into that final game against Slovakia. Knowing that presumably uh, Germany are going to destroy them. You'd like to think. But we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, I think this tactic will work better against this system. Against a slightly weaker opposition than Germany. But we'll have to see. Austria is certainly no pushover by any stretch. Uh, so we'll have to see how we do. I don't expect to get a lot of possession in this game. I've yet to find a way to make us stick with possession basically. Germany already have the lead. Um, we should be closing down Andy Weiman. It's interesting that he's is in here as Andy Weiman rather than Andreas. Interesting. Uh, Austria have had quite a few shots already so far. This is interesting. Possession-wise, is always going to be them. How do we... Hmm. Struggling to cope with midfield numbers. I've been getting that notification even in games we were like 4-0 up in, to be honest. Even against La Berrachon, uh, we were getting that notification. But I would like a little bit more than a draw, if at all possible. Um... If we can get a win over Austria, that would be pretty much us qualified, because I think we can get a draw with Slovakia. It's that third place that we're really aiming for. It's similar to the Germany game, where we've not really created anything at all, but we've not looked like conceding. Um, I Just to clarify, yeah, I do have it on key highlights. I just thought for a second I might have put it on none. Um, but that's strange. Uh, let's just... Let's just um, what's the word? Assertively. Um, come on, guys. Let's get this going. Let's... Um, yeah, I just I want them to believe in themselves. That's what we kind of need to do. Um, we'll sort of play it by ear in the second half. As it things stands, we've not offered a lot. We've had a couple of shots. Most of their shots have been... Well, half of their shots have been long range. So it's not really offering a lot either. Our pass completion is pretty damn low, though. And that is a worry for me. So I'm just going to tell them to concentrate. And that might boost that slightly. But we may have to make some tactical switches as well. Because currently things are not going well. Hello, here we go. Richards now. Vokes. There we go. Alan, now to Vokes. Folks, needs to find someone on the edge. Richards. He's got loads of space. Bail at the back post and cleared away. Right. Nearly an opportunity. Something I've noticed as well. Players, when they get their back to goal, seem to just dawdle on it way too much. Both teams. Um, both your team and the AI team. They seem to dawdle on the ball way too much. Right. We need to make a substitute and soon. Uh, Voxy is absolutely shattered at this point. Ramsey, I appreciate, is as well. But he's also Aaron Ramsey. And he's probably one of our best players. Um, Vokes is going to come off for... 
mm, Davis is a better target, man. It's just the way it is. I might actually end up having to make a second substitution very, very quickly after this. Um, it's not looking as bad as I thought it was. Again, possession is still nowhere near us. But that doesn't mean a lot at this point. Williams, that's better. Get the ball to Ramsey. Now we can get the ball forward a bit. Bale might be able to have a run at people. Bradshaw now. He's got support. Loads of players over on this right-hand side. Maybe an overlap. Richards getting forward. All the way back to Joe Ledley. Be careful, guys. Do not lose the ball here. This could be dangerous. All the way through. And... I do not know what's happened there, but we've had a really good opportunity to take the lead here against Austria. A draw wouldn't be awful, um, but a win would be really, really useful because that would basically, uh, for me, if we draw this game, we're basically through. Ramsey Bale oh, changes afoot, folks, and it seems to be working for us so far. Ben Davis, Ledley. We're looking a lot better in this second half. We've had the real first chance of the game. Here we go. Richards again. Cross for Davies. This time he puts it in the back of the net, and it is Wales 1, Austria 0. Craig Davis. Craig Davis. That's not even how his name's spelled. I just... I don't know. I saw it and I went for it. But there we go. If we are going to win this, I think if we can beat Austria today, that should see us through. Because I don't think Austria are going to beat Germany. And a win here for us, in theory, well, sees us go above Austria. So it would actually put us in a very, very strong position to virtually wrap up third with a point over... Well, sorry, not wrap up third, but wrap up qualification. Great goal from Davis. Good strike. And that is Wales 1, Austria 0. The perfect start. Well, I say perfect start. We're an hour in. Um, and with that, I might get to sort of 65 and make the next change, particularly if we were to score on this play. Now, I've noticed that they've got a lot of width, um, which is fine because, generally speaking, uh, we're trying to play quite narrow. And what I might do is actually just turn it back to balance, just to allow those um, players to spread out a little bit and give us a bit more of a chance to maybe close some of these guys down a little bit quicker. Um, I don't want to go too width-wise because, obviously, we do have a lot of central players, so Bale couldn't quite get there. Hintersayer. Klein out on the wing. There's a bit of space in behind if he finds the pass. Uh, Nunozovic. Klein. Oh, go on, guys. Don't don't concede. Oh! Oh, what a save. That is an incredible save from Carl Darlow. Darlow has made some outrageously good saves. And I have to say, I've been very impressed with the goalkeepers so far on this game. Both for my teams and generally uh, for the opponents, frankly. The only sort of mistake I really saw was in that second goal that we conceded against Germany, I think. It wasn't fantastic goalkeeping, but for the most part, goalkeepers do make mistakes anyway, so that's what you'd expect. But for the most part, goalkeepers are pulling off some really good saves. It's pleasant to see. Uh, we're going to get another highlight here. Austria have clearly changed something. Oh, Joe Ledley. What is... All right, okay, we've got to do something to get rid of these situations with the cards. That's the second red card in two matches. Thankfully, we'll have... Um, Neil Davis back for the next game but that's what I mean that kind of thing is outrageously unnecessary um what I might do here is since Bradshaw is already on the the, the fritz so to speak I'm actually gonna bring Bradshaw um off and we're gonna get hang on I'll put him into Ledley's position here and we're gonna get on Johnny Williams no yeah Johnny Williams will come on in that position there and I'm also gonna move uh, Davies across here Come on. And then push him up. Uh, I'll move him into the attacking. You see what I mean in a sec. I'll put Bale back here as a sort of shadow striker now. Uh, just to play him behind. Because I just think that perhaps we go a bit more... Uh, not direct, but perhaps not deep line forward. We want probably, since it's Davies, we'll have to use him as a target man on attack. And then Bale can kind of get up and support him if if at all possible. That's probably my best bet uh, for the way this system is going to work for us at the moment. Uh, so that's another change being made. And I'll make another one around about 75, I think. But we are still winning. Austria are going to... I sense that they're going to demolish us, though, in these final 15 minutes. That's the problem. Um, because I have noticed that red cards seem to affect things quite... A lot more than they did on FM15, I have to say. Or maybe that was just because we were playing against Germany. But it certainly was noticeable that we got a lot worse when we went down to 10 men. As you would expect. Um, win that. There we go. But unfortunately, there's no one there to get on the end of it. And I think... We might be lucky to get away with this one. Ball in. Hamshik and again. Cleared away. And again. My God. Darlow is a monster. Um, right. We're going to make another substitution now. And I'm probably going to have to get Andy King on here. Because look at Aaron Ramsey. He has to get. We cannot afford to lose him. Um, yeah. It's going to have to be Andy King. He's not got full fitness at the moment. But we're just going to give him a quick team tour. Just basically say, go on. Um, go out there and make a difference. Seem deep in thought. King did not. He didn't he care. He didn't care. If we were to win this, it would be by pure luck in the end. I don't think we've deserved it uh, in the end. But if we were to get it, I would accept it with open arms. A draw for me is not the worst result. A draw for me would be enough, I think, um, potentially. In fact, a draw would be enough. Because if we were to get a draw with Slovakia, that would be enough to see us through with two points. It's a weird format, isn't it? With three teams going through. Bale smashes one over the bar there. Still only 12 minutes to go. And we are only a goal to the good here. But it could still... Uh oh Cleared away again. Davis is... Not, oh, he is through. Go on, Dave. 
Craig Davis, bail on the rebound, and there we go, guys. Well, I mean, that's the epitome of backs against the wall job, really. Spring on them when you get the chance. It's Wales 2, Austria 0, and we have got the lead um, by two goals now, and surely that bad defending... Admittedly, it went over his head a little bit, so that's a worry. But Davis' shot was well saved by the goalkeeper, who appears to be wearing, like, swimming trousers or something. But there you go. Bale with the goal. Wales 2, Austria 0, and things are looking up for us. Hopefully, we can see this one over the line now. And a plus 2 goal difference uh, boost for us today certainly wouldn't go amiss. And there we go, guys. Wales 2, Austria 0, with 10 men. That's some results, and I think that's going to see us through, guys. So, I will immediately now flash to the next game of the episode, which is the final game against Slovakia. That will decide it all. I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, guys, we're back. Now, I decided to skip through some of the formalities, just so we don't. this episode doesn't drag on forever. But basically, uh, I've gone with a relatively similar team. We had a little bit more of a break, but I will, of course, make some changes to get these guys off if we happen to find ourselves in a position to need that. Henley's not got the greatest of match fitness right now, but we're just kind of lacking in players there too uh, for now. So we'll just have to kind of play this one by ear. Um, I'm hoping that we can avoid defeat here, but the fact is even a defeat uh, would see us go through if Germany beat Austria. So we're in a good position. The, the fact that we've got ourselves a win um, in the way that we have is so important today. Uh, I've also changed the tactic slightly to say that um, to get the players to stay on their feet, and I'm hoping that will affect uh, the number of fouls that we concede because it is... It's not maliciousness that's getting us sent off. It's the fact that we're conceding too many niggly fouls and second yellow cards are probably part of the problem in that. Hence why we've had so many of these uh, red cards. So I'm hoping that if we stay on our feet a bit more, it will help us keep our shape a bit. Maybe even make us stronger defensively as well as prevent so much, uh, you know, disciplinary problems, basically. We've also got two suspensions today. Bradshaw inside. King's in there. And there we go. Six minutes gone. It is Wales 1, Slovakia nil, And actually, at this point, that would wrap up a really tasty second spot and allow Austria through with us, um, putting Slovakia down the bottom of the group. So a really good start. And I'm actually very impressed with this team. I think this formation is a winner, frankly, because I don't think we'd be expected to get out of this group, particularly not in second spot. Um, I think we might, you know, as a pot four team, to get second in the group would be very, very impressive. And it will give us a slightly better tie. I assume that that means that we'd get to play one of the third place teams from one of the other groups. So potentially uh, another shot, uh, another round of the tournament is actually available to us. And if that is the case, then you'll see a double live come in the next episode as well. So you guys get to see as much as physically possible um, without obviously, you know, I'll cut out any boring stuff. You know, that's what I'm trying to do to make it streamlined because I know you guys you guys don't want to watch uh, really long videos all the time. Um, so I'm trying to keep my videos, in theory, 15 to 17 minutes, sort of, but sometimes less, just if I can. Um, Bale now with a free kick. Goes out to Allen. We're looking really good today. Uh, they've only had one shot. Taylor, back to Ramsey. If we get a second goal, I might take a few players off at half-time, and there it is. Sam Vokes with the goal. Wales 2, Slovakia nil. This is a perfect performance, really. Um, we've beaten both Austria and, in theory, Slovakia now. Uh, oh, look at the crowd. The crowd are looking a lot more colourful, I must say. I don't know what these two here are doing. They look like they're monks uh, just praying on the touchline. I know they're physios or something along those lines. Or ball boys. I don't know. I'm just noticing the extra level of detail that they've added. Or either that or it was there the entirety of last year and I'm just an Egypt. Um, right, Vox has picked up a knock, so he'll probably come off at half-time. Uh, and there's a, I might make a double sub at half-time, actually, just to kind of steady things up. But I want to get to half-time so I can assess this situation properly. But we've been great in the first half. Um... I'm also going to tell them that, though. I'm happy with that. I'm Keep it up. Um, calm. Uh, no, I'm I'm very happy. I, I don't know. That's why I'm always a bit... I am happy with the playmaking efforts. And... Uh, yeah, no, I am happy with that. There we go. They're looking happy and fired up. That's what I like to see. Uh, I'm getting a bit more variation with these instructions. Right, so, changes, though. I'm, I'm tempted. I find it's easier to go on this menu to make the changes, though. So... Vokes, yeah, I think he will come off. And we'll get Davies on because he's just so good in that role. And the other change I want to make is probably going to have to be Aaron Ramsey for Johnny Williams. Just because Ramsey is knackered. And I want to keep him fresh for whoever we do happen to get uh, it, when we go through. Because, you know, at 2-0 two, two up at this point, uh, we I don't think we could physically, with the way things are standing, Austria would need to score twice against Germany. And we'd need to concede three here against Slovakia, who at the moment don't look like scoring. But that doesn't mean they won't. Uh, never say never, because they could switch things up in the second half and get a goal. Darlow again. I've got to say, he is my hero at the moment. Darlow is is just fantastic. He, goalkeepers are vastly improved, and I'm enjoying that. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to be shouting at goalkeepers as much this year. And that's nice. It's less stressful experience for everyone who's involved. Uh, we do need to close him down a little bit more. And Pekarik as well. Um, Joe Allen has made a lot of a mistake. So let's just get Joe Allen off as well then, since he's playing... Wow, he's playing really poorly in a team that are playing really well. Uh, we'll get Jordan Williams on. That should... Wow, he's quite a versatile player, is Williams. 
hopefully. Uh, now we've got a lot of Williams on the pitch, so we've got Ashley Williams and both Johnny and Jordan Williams. The annoying thing, though, is it doesn't distinguish in the match engine who's who with the Williamses, um, because it says J Williams and J Williams. And particularly now that they're both in midfield, this is going to get awkward, people. So apologies if I'm not uh, entirely sure who has the ball at times, because they're quite fluid. Uh, there we go, Taylor. Get it across, maybe? Back for Bale. Bale can turn. Bale can score. Bale is lethal in those positions. Wales 3, Slovakia nil, and frankly... No more than we deserve. But once again, 59% possession to Slovakia and only 66% pass completion today. It just doesn't matter, it seems. Um, this tactic seems to be very OP at the moment. Obviously, against Germany, things kind of fell apart when we got the red card. But who knows what we could have done in that game had we not. We probably would have lost still, but maybe like 1-0 instead of 4. Uh, not that at, at this stage it really makes any difference. Have we got a fourth goal in this? Can we actually finish with a positive goal difference? Oh, wait. No, we actually, we've technically got one already, don't we? We've got a plus one, which is nice. Stock, ball in. And Darlo to the rescue again. He is my Superman. Um, and I'm enjoying his work so far. Up to Bradshaw. Probably the wrong player to aim that one, really. Uh, Taylor. I might actually adjust the tactics so we get to distribute... The goalkeeper will distribute it to our target man. Uh, because Voxy, when he's in there, is great. Bale. Inside for Bradshaw. Oh. That was a finish more reminiscent of Carrie Bradshaw than Tom Bradshaw. But there you go. Vice with the ball in. Oh, that's a good finish. Hubokan. That's a great goal. Uh, Thomas Hubokan. Or Hubokan. I'm apologising. Apologising? Christ on the bike. I don't know. Um, there you go. That was a bit bad defending for us, really, because he somehow managed to ghost through our defender, and Darlow really, well, he's done well enough for me to give him one on that one. Uh, he's not happy with the defenders either, so we'll take it. Let's see. Uh, Darlow now with the clip. Well, we've got one more, have we? Uh, no, we don't. That'll be it. There we go. Wales 3, Slovakia 1. Really pleased with that performance. Um... And that's us through. The team did exactly what they wanted. Yes, they did. Now, I'm not entirely sure how it works with the post-match, uh, with the next situation here. Uh, so we're just going to quickly... I'll, I'll just send my assistant to this for now. I never normally do, but we're just going to see who we actually get in the next round uh, because I'm very curious about that. There's probably a couple more games to go, but I do want to show you guys that way you'll know who we're going to be playing in the next round of this tournament uh, in a sec. Thankfully, it moves so quickly at the point we're at where I can actually just hit the space bar, and it is almost instantaneous, as you're all seeing right now. Um, it's really, really nice. Uh, let's see, who we got? We've got France. That's going to be tough. So tomorrow's episode is going to be us against France. And if we would have somehow managed to best the French, then you'd see another episode. Uh, not another episode. Well, maybe. No. Uh, you'd see another live com in that same episode of us into the what would be the quarterfinals. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I really have enjoyed uh, filming this one. It's been fun. Um, so if you've enjoyed it even more than that, please do like uh, the video. That would be glorious. If we could get 300 or even just 250, that would be amazing. I'm missing off letters everywhere. I've got to stop speaking so fast. I really do try, but it's just sort of like my brain's just trying to put stuff out of my face. But there you go. Um, so I will see you guys in the next episode for the game against France and maybe one more if we can pull off one of the biggest shocks uh, probably of the Euros since Greece did all kinds of naughty things during the 2004 one. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.